Okay, so things are really getting rolling in my experiences now. The uh, uh, information embedded in my OBEs that is pertainable to uh, physical matter reality in some way, shape, or form, I mean, it's really starting to come through. And so I'm going to put through this video that just sort of maybe gives an example of how precognitive information, or again, information that is uh, pertainable to the physical reality, uh, gets embedded and uh, potentially experienced in my OBEs. And I'm going to use an, the example of an experience that happened a few days ago in which I'm not, I'm not really sure I would call this precognitive information because I don't know if this event has happened uh, yet already or not, but um, I actually think that what happened in this experience is a first. I think that the spirit of a person who has crossed over contacted me in the middle of one of my OBEs and was um, telling me something. I don't know how what she showed me was pertainable to myself or what I can do to help, but um, again, I'll just sort of use use this experience as my example because the way that uh, the information was embedded in my OBE was was interesting and clear. I can clearly relay it to you. Um, okay, so I'm going to relay the entire event, and there are many uh, uh, categories of things that happened in this particular experience, and I'm, I'm going to go into them all. Any of them that, that come to my mind is, as I'm doing this. So the first thing I will let you know is that uh, the energies that, that work with me uh, have a very clear focus on transitions, as those of you who watch my video know. Uh, so I am uh, very acutely aware of the shifting from here to other reality systems, uh, other dimensions, whatever word you give for this. And uh, there's two sort of unique ways recently that uh, I will experience uh, the shifting from here to there. Uh, one of those is I will simply begin feeling, uh, coming into the awareness of uh, uh, my body on various levels. And I will feel myself begin to levitate. I will feel myself begin to rotate in various ways. Very classical is to rotate um, from my horizontal position 90 degrees so that my head is facing down and my feet are facing straight up. Uh, this very classically results in an OBE. Uh, another way is when I come into uh, uh, the awareness of the etheric version of my room here and into the awareness of beings who are here with me actually performing these rotations. Uh, it's, it's extraordinary. I will also very classically feel um, sensations of acceleration. Although not so much that anymore. Mostly just the rotation and our awareness of beings here in the etheric version of my room performing the rotations. Literal hands on me, moving me into these positions. It's, 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 it's alarming and very fun. <laughs> and, uh, and, and interesting and, and fascinating and enlivening. It's just all at the same time. Uh, so the experience I had a few days ago was, was one of these where uh, there's beings here in my room, one in particular, who is performing these, these rotations with me. And wow, beings, it was a few days ago and I haven't actually refreshed my memory. I'm having to <laughs> very quickly bring forward um, what happened here. 
You know, the first the first bout with the being who was here is not coming to me at the moment, but what is coming to me is uh, that the feeling in me as I became aware of the energy of this being was mm, dissonant. So there was, a, there was a very large difference in the energy signature of this being and myself as a earth human in 3D physical reality. Um, so large difference in the energetic signature and I was feeling this difference and this always makes me uneasy but you know I learned to breathe my way through it and not take myself into any sort of mental spiral that will end the event post haste. <laughs> uh, so after the first little bit of business with this being uh, and, and I'm picking up on some detail. I'm picking uh, no visual, but the feeling is uh, of this being uh, a male, mm, young, of the same coloring as me. You know, I often see this. It, it will be uh, um, someone who is pale skinned, has sandy colored hair and medium colored eyes. And I take this as being within my same family, my, my same group. When I see somebody that has the same coloring as myself, even though I know this is a filter, I know that this is information telling me that this is family. This is someone I'm related to uh, in the cosmos somehow. So, uh, anyway, after this first bout of business, uh, this being comes uh, up to the head of my bed and sits next to my head, and I feel his hands come down and touch my head and incredibly give me a really what I am perceiving as a scalp massage. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm feeling the scalp massage and just sort of sinking in, and as I sink in, I shift. And... I shift into oh, just an amazing experience, an amazing experience. Uh, and due to where I shifted, that's an actual an incredible statement. I shifted into the mall. So uh, uh, the mall is somewhere that OBEers shift to regularly from what I hear of, from people. And I shift there regularly. Where I shifted the other day, the energy of this was very different than shifting to the mall in the past. In the past, the mall has been a place where, you know, just people are, you know, the way people are normally, just not paying attention. Uh, some of them are clearly sleep, sleeping, their eyes are closed, and they're just sort of, you know, stumbling around and you know I'll, I'll try to wake them up you know when I shift into the mall I'll try to you know do something to help I figure that's why I'm there this was different this place was different during this experience there is a layer of my being merged so fully with me that the ex just being in a mundane place like the mall and doing mundane things like we were about to go do, which I was knowing in advance because the the um, the merging was so complete, was just extraordinary. I was able to feel how the deeper layers of my being experience simple mundane things. And I will just tell you, it's extraordinary. There is absolutely nothing like it. Um, you know, I'm really looking forward to the day that I have that complete merging right here in the physical reality and no longer have to shift into the, the other layers in order to experience it. You know, it's coming, but uh, and experiences like this assist in it coming. But to get back into the experience, what I know we're about to do is go eat a cookie. <laughs> so this layer of my being wants to experience eating a cookie and we go into the shop uh, I'm behind a group of people that are opening a door to get into this place but and and I'm sort of with this group so uh, and I notice that as we go through through the door that there are other beings here who can simply pass through the walls and such. And so there are people who are really awake in here and then people who are um, awake but uh, could be more awake. And I'm, again, with that group. So uh, as, we, as we walk in, 
we go up to the counter and we're going to get a cookie and there was this really fun thing with paying for the cookie <laughs> and then getting it and eating it and so we eat this cookie and I can I can not only taste it which is extraordinary in itself because in OBEs the sense of smell and taste have to be developed they do not come immediately like the sight hearing and tangible touch aspects do uh, so very often you'll you'll be in these environments and and eating something but it has no taste it may have temperature but no taste or or something may be there or, or nothing here everything is present it's not just that i'm tasting this cookie it's that i'm experiencing it with every ounce of my being in the most extraordinary way i could ever relay so just this simple mundane act of eating a cookie was is amazing as you know my first experience of 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 coming into other reality systems them that you know which is huge you know <laughs> just the simple act of eating the cookie was like just pfft. it's wordable but i find myself tongue tied when it comes time to anyway I, I hear from the deeper layers, you know, that the, the I got this large cookie, <laughs> and I hear that, that one of the smaller ones may have been more appropriate, and I let them know that next time I'm going to take that advice. <laughs> So this is sort of one of the tests that happen. My ability to be in communication with these deeper layers and also uh, receive the advice and wisdom in a way that's actually taken and, and applied. And I, I didn't hardly pass this test because I let them know uh, that it would be next time before I took the advice. I was only let to eat half the cookie before I'm shifted into a new place and as I shift I know in my awareness and I'm saying and even having a spot of fun with those here with me um, you know that I knew I would only be allowed to eat half that cookie <laughs> I just didn't know it well enough to agree with it and get the smaller one when the advice was suggested to me so the next place we're coming at we're still at the mall and you know actually this is the door that we're walking through when I realize you know that there's others who can pass through the wall and so I realize that there's there's different levels of people who are awake here there's there's people still thinking pretty much along physical lines and then those who are, are fully non-physical and have this down and I decide that I need to get myself to that point and so I walk up to this wall and we're in this hmm, uh, restaurant bar area at the mall and uh, I, I try to get myself to pass through the wall, you know, and at first I can't. It, it, it is as solid and tangible <laughs> as this one is to me. And, but, but I know that I'm, I'm in this secondary environment. I know that I can do this, so I just keep trying, and it takes me two or three tries, and I eventually, you know, push myself into the wall, and I'm just standing there, you know, just <laughs> looking down at myself in this wall. And... Again, it's extraordinary because of this layer of my being that's merged with me in this, that's just having a delightful time of me learning this and is having a delightful time of me waking up to the possibilities um, of what can happen. And, um, you know, just the sensation of being merged with anything or anyone is extraordinary I mean it's it's felt through the whole being it's just absolute bliss uh, and, and delightful there's this delightful sort of fun in it that is really hard to say anything other than that about really <laughs> because it's not anything that's tangibly experienced in the physical reality so it's 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 hard to say but from here we <laughs> look over toward the bar and I can feel that what this layer wants to do now is go order a drink and I'm like oh okay fun <laughs> I'll go up to the bar and we'll order a drink uh, this one wants a Bailey's coffee so we go up to the bar and there's a couple girls ahead of us 
And while they're ordering and having their stuff taken care of, I'm just sort of looking around at everybody that's here and just how real and stable everything is. I mean, the stability in my experiences now is just mind blowing. Um, and they get done and move away and step up to the bar and uh, there's a wallet on the bar. And this is gonna, about to be another test. The bartender sees me see the, see the wallet and, and asks who that is. Now, in experiences before, I may have lied and said, oh, that's mine. <laughs> because even at that point, I was wondering how I was going to pay for the drinks. You know, I, was, I had my, my hands in my pockets and that's all I felt was coins. And I said, you know, that's my friends. That's those girls who, who just walked away. They'll be back for it in just a second. So I passed this test. <laughs> and this is the only reason that the experience was able to move on to a deeper level. Uh, so the girl did come back for her wallet, and just a moment later, there's another bar on, I um, mean, another wallet on the bar. And this time, I'm getting the idea that this wallet is for me. It's it's for me to look into. So I pick it up and I open it up, and inside is a driver's license, and I pull out this driver's license, and absolutely stable. I can read it clear as clear can be. Nothing's morphing or anything, and. Um, I see the picture of this person and I see their name and I see the color of the driver's license which later tells me which state it was from. And the person's name I'm going to omit from this relay because I actually did this video before and I'm not being let to say the name and so there's a particular reason somehow to uh, for some reason they, that that's not important. The more important thing is how how this was embedded in my experience. And so anyway, I look at the name and being surprised that it's not me, I just wonder who that is. And as I'm wondering, and I, you know, I, I even say it, hmm, I wonder who that is. And as I say this, I begin to have this clairvoyant experience this clairvoyant event take place more than clairvoyant because I'm more than seeing what I'm about to relate to you I actually shift there uh, I by locate I'm aware of myself standing there at the bar with this wallet and this driver's license and I by locate onto a residential street it's day daytime high noon probably and the person on the driver's license is standing directly in front of me and we're standing in the middle of the street and I just stand there for a moment and we're looking at each other and I'm taking in all the detail um, I'm also going to leave this detail out of this relay as I'm looking at this person a bullet wound begins to appear in what is her right cheek And I begin to realize the seriousness of this. Now, this person, I believe this is this the spirit of this person who is either crossed over or about to cross over. I don't know because I don't know where I am in time. Is contacting me in this experience to show me this, to give me this information for some reason that I don't know. But it got embedded in my experience through the wallet being left on the bar. That, that fascinates me. So there's always, there's, I'm coming to see that there is always um, embeds in the OBE and they can either just sit there and, and go unmissed while we go on to other things or we can come across them and bring them through into our conscious awareness and then through into our physical matter reality so long as we're able to bring the awareness of the experience back with us. Uh, and so I'm realizing that this is something serious and from here we shift into a hotel room this person is in the shower there's a male person coming to get her it's uh, a person who's with her a friend and this person walks into the room and gets shot by another person and Sometime 
in the mix of all of this. Mm. Another embed comes in and I'm seeing three male figures, uh, bizarre in appearance, very different in height, uh, having this conversation, uh, not quite argument, conversation I guess is good enough, but it's um, somewhat heated and the only words I actually remember from this part of the event uh, was something about contact. I'm actually not even remembering the full sentence now as I'm trying to bring this forward. Something about us being here for contact. Uh, uh, like we had gotten away from that somehow and someone was bringing that back into the front of the awareness uh, during this particular part of the event. So just, just, a, just amazing. You, you know, the majority of the experience is just the, the traditional uh, circumstances and events that I move through in OBEs, that's like the 95% of what happened, like in this particular event, 95% of what happened was just me at the mall experiencing um, the closeness, the connection uh, of the complete merging of a particular layer of my being with me and uh, just having extraordinary experiences of very mundane things, you know, coming into um, more awareness of what was possible in this environment and, you know, doing things like getting myself to be able to pass through things, um, the tests, you know, was I going to listen to my inner layers and get the smaller cookie? <laughs> you know, was I going to claim the wallet at the bar as my own? Was I going to tell a lie? <laughs> you know, so that's 95% that's of the experience. The embed where I actually have the precog or the contact with this spirit that I had crossed over that wanted to tell me this uh um, maybe to ask for my help with something I don't know you know that as much as I got is what I told you so far um, that's only nine like five percent of what what happens but it is there it is embedded in the experiences and um, I'm able to come across it and um, receive it shift into the full-on subjective experience of it, <laughs> just like I did, um, in the middle of everything else that's happening. So that information is there too, and that information is coming through in my experiences, I mean, more and more in extraordinary ways. Just extraordinary ways.